How's doing out there? My name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal H Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. Now, um, as I said in the last couple of demonstrations that we changed a few things about our paint, we now have a roll-on form for those of you that don't feel comfortable with the paint sprayer. So we have done away with all the blackout cloths uh, due to the fact that now you can design your own Crystal H Technology Screen blackout cloth yourself. Now, what we give you in this kit is we give you the surface. So if you decide that you don't want to paint your wall if you decide that basically like, like I said the screens can be painted on pretty much anything I've done plywood I've done plastic I've done glass I have pretty much painted everything I can get my hands on uh, but um, if you decide you want to do your own fix projection screen we have the surface right here now mind you, this is a bonus of actually having this kit if you go out and you buy let's say Carl's uh, blackout cloth not saying anything bad about his product it's, it's a good product and they have it in a 1.1 white screen now 1.1 white screen at 150 inches is going to cost you two something at, at most right this surface right here is actually uh, 9 feet high and it's actually 12 feet across so you imagine what this screen will cost you. I don't think they even have a screen that big. And if they do, it's probably going to cost you three, four hundred dollars for it. All right. So this surface comes with your kit for free. All the kits come with this. Even the spray kits come with the nine by twelve. Now with this, you can actually build your own fixed projection screen if you choose. Now, if you don't want to do your own fixed screen, you can paint it on a wall. You can paint it on pretty much any surface. I've done glass. I've done plywood. I've done plastic. Pretty much you can paint it on anything you want. Now say if you want to go the route of um, basically doing your own existing projection screen. Well with the kit there is two drop cloths and frog tape. Now we use frog tape when we were actually painting uh, these projection screens and all you would have to do is just basically just take the frog tape, trace out the area around the screen, the black area that you don't want to get hit with the paint and just basically just cover everything else in plastic and just reseal it again with the frog tape coat it over, roll it or spray it and you're done. So we add stuff in your kit that allow you to be able to use the paint more than one way. And one of the things we do give you the benefit of having the blackout cloth. Well, this is the blackout cloth we use when we design our Crystal Edge technology screens. This is the one that I actually have upstairs on my wall, that great big giant screen you see in some of the demonstrations. That's it right here. So this is the surface right here. It's very thin. It is acoustic, so you can basically um, put speakers behind it. Sound will travel behind it. It is uh, very flexible. And the beautiful thing about it is, like I said, even though it comes folded, um, it actually just stretches out to a very flat surface and you have control over that and all you would have to do is just take our spray uh, paint formula or you can take the roll-on formula or crystal H technology and just roll over your screen and you're done it's that easy I've actually done one and showed you guys how easy it is to paint the screen now this is the screen right here this is the screen I have right here this is my screen already painted right here I'll show you the back of it really quick this is the back of it should have had a spotlight pointing in this direction but I don't so there's my screen right here that I painted. There is the um, the L brackets. Very easy to put together. I, you know, it's just the most easiest thing you ever frame you put together. Now, as for the wood strips, you can go to Home Depot. You can get the wood strips. They're about two to three dollars. Uh, the wood strips ranges from I think five feet, uh, six feet, eight feet, uh, ten, and twelve. And they can cut it. If you don't have the machinery at home, they can cut it for you for the size that you want, and you're done. You get your L brackets, and you repeat the same thing as you see here. You repeat it on the back end, all the way around. Now, if you want to, if you have a bigger screen and you want to add brackets in between, you do the exact same thing. You put your brackets here, and you do the same thing all the way across to give yourself middle support. So it's very easy to put together. You get your staple gun. It could be electric, mine's electric, or you can basically use a hand staple gun. You know what I mean? And for the work ones, that's what you want. And you could basically, you don't want to use like a regular one used for office. And you can basically just repaint, I mean, just uh, staple on your screen and you're done. Now mind you, when you do these screens, you're doing a borderless screen. This is a borderless screen. It's, now if you want to put a border around, it's up to you. But these are borderless screens. They're designed to be borderless. So that's how easy it is to actually do these screens. So you see there's my electric staple gun, there's my drill, and that's basically about it. And you're done. And once you coat it with our chemical, that's it. So this is the roll-on form right here. And let me show you, for those of you that are might be interested in the paint sprayer, this is the paint sprayer that will come with the paint sprayer kit. 
Now we done away with the one quart, uh, um, one quart uh, version of the paint sprayer kit because it does not come with the kit. There's no point in, in making it. Um, but uh, now you know we actually uh, when you buy the kit, it, it'll paint a hundred inch. Actually, the two quart will paint a hundred inch all the way up to a hundred and fifty now. So like I said, that chemical has been a little bit. Um, a little bit thinned out a little bit more it gives you the same quality screen it's just been a little bit altered to now you can get more from the can if you want so you'll have um you'll get uh you can paint to 100 to a 150 and this comes with a free wagner paint spray this is those of you who decide you're going to spray your kit your, um, your screen on and remind mind you when you do this the spray it is a two system application you spray the first one down let it dry then you spray the finisher and you're done with the uh can it's all in one. It's an all in one kit. So everything's all in one. The finisher and the um and the uh, uh the uh the paint is all in one. Now I have some people asking like, well how come I can't use these this one in a paint sprayer? Well, it's a little thicker, you know, if you want to use it in a paint sprayer, we're not responsible if you clog and jack up your paint sprayer, but it's up to you. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over and paint this surface right here, now this surface is black, the reason why I did it in black because I want to show you exactly that you can coat this on any surface that you want and it's not hard to do. You see a lot of videos on YouTube of people saying look, you have to paint your screen and it's kind of robot formation. You know, I find it funny that some people stuck by this and then now they're changing it and they're saying, oh no, you can paint the screen any way you want. Yeah, probably because you saw me doing it. And now you, you're going to use what I'm, you're going to do what I'm doing and say, hey, this is how it's done. But I've been doing that since day one. So all you got to do is pour a little bit on the screen. There's no such thing as a perfect application on the screen. I could never understand that when somebody says, well, you must put a perfect application on the roller. I don't know what that means to put a perfect application on the roller. Like I said, I've been painting for about. Yeah, probably on screens, five years maybe, five, five or six years. And I still don't understand the terms of putting a perfect application on the roller. So I'll show you how easy it is. I'm going to paint this screen in really quick. Ooh, I just got my sneakers, man. I'm not even supposed to be painting in these sneakers. It's funny because I'll wear socks down here and they'll be jacked up. But the day that I come down and wear sneakers, I mean, I wear socks down here. Let me phrase that. I'll wear socks down here and I won't even get paint on them. But I'm not worrying about it because the paint washes off with hot water and soap. So I'll just go upstairs and just scrub down my sneakers real quick and just remove the paint off of it. That's the beautiful thing about it, too. Let me get this out because I don't want to be stepping all over that. So that's basically about it. Now, as you see, I'm not doing a certain formation of painting. I'm just basically just hitting the screen that's it doesn't make a difference if I go side to side doesn't make a difference if I go left and right doesn't make a difference now if you're doing something that is a little bit smoother something like a glass um, it may require two coats probably one coat as the base and then just a lighter coat and then that's it you're done all right, we'll put a little bit right here. See, I'm just pouring this on. I'm not, I'm not, I just, I never could understand when people, because I guess they want it to sound professional. You have people who do these videos on painting their screen, and they want it to sound professional. And some people don't want, the, they want a professional screen, but they want an easy way to do it. If you make it sound too complicated, people won't go near it, because it sounds too complicated, you know? You gotta make it. It's easy. You gotta make it easy. You gotta make it easy. So, you gotta make it. You gotta make it scientific. That the performance level is out of the box. But painting the screen, you gotta make it easy. You know, you gotta make it so the average Joe can paint the screen. Literally, a kid should be able to paint the screen. If a kid can paint that screen, then it's a good screen. But still, you have to consider the fact that even if he can, if it's, it's a good screen on applying it, you still have to make sure the screen is going to be able to perform well. Now, as you've seen in some of my demonstrations, my recent ones, I took about 2,200 watts of light and nailed my screen with it. 2,200 watts of light and nailed my screen. And my screen did not wash out. That shows you how powerful the smart technology gain is. 
2200 watts of light. Now you tell me who on YouTube does that with their screens. That shows my customers right there. If they have a well-lit environment, if they have windows in their environment, they don't have to worry about my screen washing out. Because my screen has proved that it can do the um, do uh, an easy a window with no problem. All right. All right. So up and down. All right. Here and here and here. Uh, we got the middle area which we haven't finished yet. So I'm gonna go over here. Get this really quick. Now this particular surface has a bit of a smoother texture to it. It's not the black oak cloth that we use. I just decided to grab a piece of vinyl. This is black vinyl that I have at the house. And I use it sometimes for other things, not for projection screens. And uh, I decided to, um, now mind you, this black vinyl is not transparent at all in any way. But I decided to use it in this demonstration just to show you how easy it is. And the black vinyl does have a bit, as you can see, a bit of a, um, because my screen's covering it, but it has a bit of a texture, a bit of a, um, a surface to it. But this one I would have to paint twice. It has a bit of, a, has a bit of a slick surface to it. So it doesn't take long for the paint to dry. I can go right back over top of it and boom, be done with it. There we go. So let's dry now. There we go. So it'll start to dry. It takes no time at all for these screens to dry. Sorry if my camera's off center sometimes. I do apologize. All right, there we go. All right, so that's done right there. That service had a bit of a, uh, a slicker texture to it. So it was a little, it was a little, um, I, had to, I gotta paint it again because like I said, if you have a surface and it has a little bit of a smooth texture to it, you have to maybe go over it just a little bit. We're not talking about paint the whole screen, just go over it. All right, so there's my screen right there. It's done. I got it against my other screens. Uh, let's do this demonstration really quick because my time is running out on my camera. Let me move this can out of the way too. I don't want to put the can dead in front of the camera. Get that focus back right. All right, so we're going to nail the screen with some light. We have our usual subjects are our spotlights right here and right here and you can see for yourself how amazing the screen looks now I was able to paint this in no time at all now like I said the glare you're seeing from the screen that's because the screen is still wet and the spotlights are hitting it so you're seeing light from the spotlights and from the projector See if I were to come over here and turn out this light, see, that's from the um, spotlight. So we have one here, we have one here, so one here, and one here, and one here. Sorry about that. And then from the light from there, and that's what you're getting. The, you're getting the glare from there. So when I come back down and, and it's dried, you'll see that you won't see any spots on the screen because the screen is dry. I had somebody once ask me, hey. How come there's there's glare off the screen? And I was like, I just painted the screen. You, the screen's wet, so there's 100 watts of light hitting the screen. It's gonna give off a glare. Now to prove my theory, I'm gonna remove this out of the way. Put this over here. And now this right here is a dry surface. It's already dried. As you see, no spots, no hot spotting or anything at all. Alright, see that? Now we'll take the wet screen. Because I hate to do this, but you gotta explain it sometimes because literally I do have people that will come into my channel and literally say, Oh, I saw the screen hot spotting. There you go. 
I have to show it to them because like I said, you'll get those people in there that'll say stuff like that. All right, so we'll turn off the other floodlight right here. Turn off the second one. Now we just have the light coming from the projector. Like I said, it took me no time at all to paint this screen. These screens, I mean, on the average, I hit these screens with 300 watts of light because we have like spotlight here, spot uh, overhead light, all these lights right here are 300 watt lights. These screens are taking a ton of light in. And they still can produce a magnificent picture. Look at my picture. Now you can see the screen is wet because you can see it right there. Look how amazing my picture looks. Now I'll throw them off the spotlight right here. You can see there's about 100 watts of light hitting the screen right there. I mean, come on, you've seen these screens take on 2,200 watts of power. Come off lights hitting the screen. You know, this right here, 300 watts of light hitting the screen is going to be a cakewalk for the screen. On any angle, it's going to be a cakewalk. Look at this. Back here again. You see this about the end right now. Yeah, it's about the end. All right. Look how bright that is. Wildlife rescue workers trust Dawn because it's tough on Greece. Yet Look at the commercials on here. All right. Hold on a minute. Don't want to do this one. We'll do the food commercial. Do something really fast. Really, really fast. Just showing off something really fast. That's all. I've done this a, a million times. I know I have. But just, just show off something really fast on how, how fast you can just paint your screen in. I don't really care about the ad. My battery life right now is dying. And it's really hard when you do a demonstration on, um, on, um, on, your, on a screen that you just painted in. You can't do that again. This is, this is not a video that you can retake again. Come back here. Put that ugly hat off here. All right. Now we'll hit that spotlight. The second turn this one off right here. Still have a spotlight now on the screen right there. Alright. Let's get this area nice and dark. Like I said we still got the glare coming from the projector. I'm gonna try to get around this. Cause like I said, I'll have to um wait till the screen dries just to give you an idea. Once the screen dries, put on from it. And once the screen dries, look how beautiful that looks. Once the screen dries, we'll move it over a little bit over here. All right. And you'll see what it looks like now. That's the screen once it dries. All right. There you have the wet screen and you have the dry screen. Throw that spotlight on. Sure, there's no difference. Hit it with our second spotlight. Now you see the glare coming over. That's because, like I said, I move over. You can see that the screen is dry here. And not dry here. Right, we hit that overhead light. So now we have on 
R3 spotlights again. Just showing you the spotlights. Boom, boom, boom. Now I was able to paint a high performance, high gain projection screen and no time at all. On pretty much, I can paint this on any surface that I want. And the surface is fully weatherproof, which means I can take it outside if I want to. I can go to Home Depot, buy a piece of plywood, coat it down with the chemical, take it outside, watch the football game. That's how easy it is to use our screens. All right. Like I said, the screen can be a little dark because, like I said, it's still dry. Okay, before my time runs out real quick, my name is Kenneth Bird. I am the creator of Crystal Edge Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. Showing you guys the new roll-on kits. These roll-on kits are available now on our website. Um, we, Like I said, we just switched out all the, um, the other kits, actually the blackout cloths. And now we have the roll-on kits now that are there. Let me turn this off real quick. All right, and really quick, let me show you the projector we're using. Really fast, you guys all know. This is, for those of you who don't know, this is my NEC VT595 projector. Projector 600 by 800 res, 2000 lumens, 720p. Very cheap projector. You can get this projector on eBay for $50 to $75. I'll leave a link at the bottom if the fellow still has them because I've been posting uh, the videos. Actually, I've been posting this link like all over the place. So I don't know if he has any more left, but you can go in there and check very cheap projector um, and it's it looks fantastic on our screens pretty much any projector will work on the screens but you know for a cheap projector it looks fantastic on our screens look at this now mind you, we're still hitting the screen with a hundred watt spotlight and we still have the overhead light on and look how amazing the screen looks When we're doing this with no fan, we're able to, the screen's already pretty much almost dry. So we're able to actually paint this screen in. We didn't use a heat gun. We didn't use a hair dryer to dry the screen. There's no such thing as basically that you have to paint it in some kind of up and down robot formation. Uh, you didn't have to, you didn't watch me basically uh, tell you to put an even application on the roller. None of that nonsense. Just pour it on there, paint it, done. That's it. Paint any surface you want. You want to do wood, you want to do glass, you want to do drywall, you want to do plexiglass. Doesn't make a difference. It requires next to no sanding. Actually, no sanding at all, because I don't think I've ever sanded in my life. Have you ever seen me do a video of me sanding anything? So it's very, very easy to use. And on top of that, there's no priming. You can coat any surface you want. Now, as I explained before, some surfaces will have a little bit of a slick coating, like glass, or if you use plexiglass and you want to hit the screen twice, you want to roll over the first time, and then go over again very lightly, you don't have to go, I mean, lightly is a light coat of paint. You have to use heavy on it if you want. You're just basically just coating back over the screen. That's it. And it's, it, another thing I want to explain real quick, sorry about the stuttering. I'm really tired. I had been up yesterday since 4 o'clock in the morning. I didn't drop off until 12, and I'm up again like, good gracious, I think about 6. So I really got to get some time in there to sleep because it's not healthy. But anyway, um, also want to add, it's low VOC, eco-friendly. Safe for the environment, washes off with basic hot water and soap. That's basically about it. Low odor, not, it's not a strong scent to it. It's fantastic when you think about it. I mean, like I said, we have it on the website right now. I want to add real quick that our one quartz will paint up to a hundred inch screen. Um, our two quartz will paint up to a hundred and twenty to hundred and fifty. We have now a one, uh, sorry, one gallon will paint up to 180 to a 260, and we now have a two gallon kit. The two gallon kit will paint to a hundred, and I think it's uh, 260 to 350. That's the two gallon kit. Uh, with the spray on kit that comes with the paint sprayer, they will be available in two quarts. They'll paint up to 100 inch to 150 inch, and then we have the one gallon that will paint up to the uh, 200 and sorry, 180 to 180 inch screen to 260, and then we have the two gallon for the sprayer also too that will paint up to a 260 inch screen to a 350 all right okay guys again Kenneth Burr from Crystal Edge Technology Projection Screens sorry about if I stuttered a little bit in there in and out like I said I'm really really tired I work a lot of hours and a lot of people don't realize like in the morning I talk to American customers and stuff like that and at night I'm talking to customers overseas so literally in my bed my cell phone is like attached to me because I'm always getting calls in the middle of the night or basically getting texts in the middle of the night people asking me exactly how to purchase the paint or where to get it and, you know so much information on it so it's a lot of work okay guys you all have a good one and uh have a great day or a great night wherever you're at all 